Hello everyone, that manga kid here to do an alternative manga spotlight on Red Snow by Susumu Katsumada. This is a single volume short story collection um, put out by Drawn in Quarterly in their hardcover edition. Um, and it was fantastic. Um, I really, really, really enjoyed this collection. I found that every single story in it was easy to understand. There was not, as far as I can remember, any point that I felt confused by what was happening or um, that it was so, like, kind of existential. I don't know. I find that sometimes with alternative manga, things get very um, uh, bizarre to a point where you're like, I don't understand what's happening, and you have to read it so many times to understand. This one, to me, was not like that at all. Every single story felt human. Every single story felt real. Um, there are quite a bit of um, folklore-esque things woven into these stories. There's a lot of kappas, which I love the way that he draws kappas. They're so cute. Um, and... Uh, yeah, it just was really good. I will say that as far as I can remember, every single one of these short stories does involve at some point uh, sexual assault. Um, it isn't necessarily glorified or anything. It's just a reality of what happens. And it is not always against women. Women are not the only victims in this. Um, there are a couple or a few stories that involve women assaulting men as well. Um and which I found interesting because typically with a lot of these short story collections by male uh, mangakas, uh, alternative mangakas, um, the stories center around men as the main character, and usually there is a woman being um, taken advantage of in some way. This one was, there. the men were not only the main character, um, there's a couple stories about younger individuals as well, um, and yeah, it just, it was... I just want to mention that because if that's something that's going to upset you or turn you off from this, um, then just be forewarned about that. Um, but as I was reading, I was going, okay, yep, nope, this one's got uh, assault in it. Yep, this one does too. Uh, it wasn't horribly upsetting or explicit. Um, it was just a part of what happens in these sh short stories. It is a part of... Um, the time that this these stories take place in and but I just wanted to you know let everybody know that that is a thing that exists in this um, but it felt like it was done differently I don't know what it was but I just Red Snow was really really good um, I want to find some of the Kappas for you because they're so cute look at look at him He's adorable. I just really enjoy the way that he draws them. Um, and there's a couple stories in particular that involve Kappas. Um, and then, uh, yeah, his art is quite charming as well. And it's got some beautiful backgrounds. Um, oh, and the, the scenery is gorgeous. It's all around very well done. I really, really enjoyed Red Snow. It reminded me very much of reading... Um, uh, Yoshihiro Tatsumi's works, which I thoroughly enjoyed. So it was it was a nice kind of familiar sort of feeling. Um, there is an interview in the back with the mangaka, as well as a little kind of um, not necessarily an essay, but but sort of along those lines about him as well. Um, and he didn't publish too too much. Uh, he is no longer alive, unfortunately, but. Um, he did public. <clears throat> he did do a lot of four coma back in the day of alternative manga. That's that's four panel comic style, and I am thoroughly intrigued by that. And I really hope that we'll get some of that one day in English. Um, I'm sure it's probably a bit more difficult to understand because, uh, but from what it kind of talked about in the interview at the back, his four panel comics were different than than what we're used to. Um, in four panel comics and it just intrigued me enough to to really want to to consume some of that um, so hopefully in the future we may get more from Susumu Katsumata but um, I mean if not Red Snow is quite quite
quite good and highly recommend checking it out if you like these short story collections. Uh, this is certainly one of the ones I enjoyed more um, than some of the others that I've that I've already reviewed on this channel. Um, yeah, if you've read Red Snow or you're curious about it and have any questions, let me know in the comments. Um, yeah, thanks for watching.